so hand fighting to create an uncontested strangle hand is always our job when we're on the back. Starting from a seat belt, the first way that we learn how to defend grip is knowing that this hand on the same side of the choke is actually not that dangerous. It sometimes can even just be choked right through. The main defensive hand is this one over here. So we learned how to break this, these grips in a three-part series. First, our underhand came and addressed the pinky line. It popped it free, and as soon as it did, this hand was always immediately looking to finish the choke and snapping into place. Second, if he hides the pinky line at all, one pushes down while the other one pops up to create uh, the tension and then pull immediately into the choke. I will front curl and finish with that chin on top. Then the last way that we learned how to break grips was to pull this all the way by and behind his head. Once it came free, once again grabbing not the wrist but the knuckle line, stuffing it to his chest and then coming back through for the choke. His chin's tucked, I started right in his ear, slam it underneath, and if his head continued to turn with it, I could use my head as a wedge on the other side to get my hand flat, walk it all the way elbow deep and throw my hand behind and finish the choke. We learned that this is like the hand fight, but ideal positioning would be if I can get him into the side where we fall, we create a straight jacket. He's got two on two right now. If I can get rid of the top hand, I catch him with my leg. Now it's a two on one fight, and it's no longer a fair fight. This hand's always looking to choke, so all the time ready, and then we can do our grip break right from the side. Pinky line into the choke. He hides the pinky line, thumb, and the choke. And lastly, it's held too tight and the core behind his ear. Knuckles back in. Using my head as a wedge to come under the finish.